Welcome to this session on the floor selector and grid display options. The column grids can be made to appear in the 3D model views to help with the placement of elements like columns and beams. Controls for the display of the grids are available in the floor selector utility. Set Active Grid allows you to toggle on the grids you wish to display. In the floor selector window, click the Set Active Grids option and uncheck the Select All option. Data point or left click in a view to apply the change. The grid we created turns off in the views. In the floor selector utility, click the Set Active Grids option and check the Select All option back on. Data point left click in a view to apply the change. In the floor selector utility, Click the Grid Model Display option and select Full Grid, Follow Active Building. The view now displays the grids for every floor. In this case, the grid is the same for all the floors of the office building. But some designs might have different grids for different levels of the project, which would be managed in the Grid Systems Manager with the Start Floor and End Floor settings. In the Floor Selector Utility, click the Grid Model Display option and select Follow Active Floor. The views now display the grid at the ground floor of the building. In the Floor Selector Utility, select the list of floors and select the roof floor. The views now show the grid for the roof floor. Typically, in working models, we utilize the Follow Active Floor setting. Set the active floor back to the ground floor. In the next session, concrete columns will be added to the model. The grid intersections will be used to quickly place the columns in the model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.